Question number 151. Choose the incorrect match. We have phases of menstrual cycle and events occurring during menstrual cycle. Let us see them one by one. Number one, LH and FSH attain a peak level during mid cycle that is ovulatory phase. This is correct as ovulation occurs due to LH surge. Number two, breakdown of myometrium and unfertilized ovum occurs during menstrual phase. This is incorrect as endometrial breakdown occurs during menstrual phase. Number three, increased secretion of progesterone during luteal phase. This is correct as progesterone is secreted by corpus luteum which causes rise in progesterone level during luteal phase. Number four, rapid regeneration of endometrium and maturation of graphene follicle occurs during follicular phase. This is also correct. So the incorrect match is option number two. Proceeding to the next question students. Question number 152. In the given figure of ovum surrounded by sperms, X represents. So we have to identify X over here. Number one, zona pellucida is incorrect as this layer, the dark black layer is zona pellucida. Number two, perivitaline space is correct as perivitaline space which immediately surrounds the oocyte. Number three, corona radiata is also incorrect as this layer, the outermost cells make up the corona radiata. Number four, granulosa layer is also incorrect. So the correct option becomes option number two. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 153. The part of fallopian tube farthest from the ovary is. Here we have to see from the point of attachment of ovary, which part of the fallopian tube is the farthest among the given. So number one, vagina is incorrect as vagina is not a part of the fallopian tube. It is a part of the birth canal and is the part where semen is deposited during sexual intercourse. Number two, infundibulum is also incorrect as infundibulum is this part of the fallopian tube which connects the ampulla to the fimbri. Number three, isthmus is the correct answer as isthmus is the part of fallopian tube which joins the fallopian tube with the uterus. Number four, ampulla. This part of fallopian tube, the wide part is the ampulla. So the farthest part of fallopian tube from the point of attachment of ovary is isthmus. So the correct answer becomes option number Three. Proceeding to the next question. Question number 154. Select the correct sequence of ovum formation. Number one, primary oocyte, secondary oocyte, ootid and oogonia. This is incorrect as the primordial cell is oogonia which forms primary oocyte which undergoes meiosis 1 to form secondary Oocyte. Ooted is formed from secondary oocyte after fertilization has occurred just before the formation of ovum. So this is incorrect. Number two, oogonia primary oocyte, secondary oocyte and ovum is correct. Number three, ovum, oogonia, secondary oocyte and primary oocyte is incorrect. Number four, secondary oocyte leads to the formation of primary oocyte is also incorrect. So the correct answer becomes Option number 2. Proceeding to the next question students. Question number 155. Spermatozoa from seminiferous tubules of the testes reach vasa efferentia through which intratesticular genital duct? Reti testes, epididymis, vas deferens and urethra. Here we have a section depicting the LS of testes. Let us see here in the diagram. This is a network of retitestes from where the vasa efferentia take the sperms to the epididymis. This here is the epididymis which is divided into three parts. The caput, the corpus and the corda epididymis. So the network of tubules which transfers the sperms from tubuli recti to vasa efferentia are retitestes. So the correct answer becomes option number one. Proceeding to the next question students. Mm -hmm.